My name is Karen Kingsbury, and I'm a New York Times bestselling author. I've written more than 70 books, but one of my favorite things is I just made a movie called Someone Like You, and it is based on my book by the same name. One of the reasons that I wanted to make Someone Like You is just I was so excited to work on the script, and the director, Tyler Russell, and I worked on the script together. I think something that we sometimes see in, in scripts um, is a little overwriting where we just want to give them words to say, but that's kind of the whole point of acting is don't give them so many words, just let them act, which is true to life as well. And that's what we talk about when it's compassion is you lean in, you spend time, you be available, but you don't always have the perfect answer because there's not always an easy answer for everything we go through. The scene in the coffee shop where Dawson Gage is has just lost his best friend, the girl he was in love with, and he's just in his own place of grief and his best friend Carl comes in, uh, goes up to the counter where his wife works and he gets a coffee and she says, you know, he's been here all day. Carl just looks and, you know, he tells his wife he loves her and then he goes and he sits down next to Dawson and just sits. I love that scene because I think it would be so tempting to go, you know, I'm praying for you, buddy, and, you know, God sees you, what you're going through, or just like kind of talk over it and it just didn't need that. I love that it has so few words because I think compassion often doesn't have to say anything. Compassion International has been a part of what God has been trying to teach, I think, our family from the beginning, which is that you only get to keep what you give away. You have to ask yourself, what will stay? And compassion has changed my life. You know, you can give a check to someone for a lot of different really great causes, but there's not a face on it. And when it comes to compassion, there is. And the 16 kids that we sponsor are dear to us. They have their little personalities. They have their eyes that you can look deeply into their souls. And that is a way of giving that is life-changing. Now, the fact that compassion leads kids into a relationship with Jesus, I worked through the local church, provides them with material so that they can grow in their faith and learn about what the Bible teaches, uh, maybe was the main reason why we chose compassion. They're just always leading kids and families back to Jesus. And it isn't just the child, that's something else. It's the whole family. Uh, we get to hear how, in fact, one, little, one of our little girls wrote and said, would you please pray, she's 12, Jenica. And she said, would you please pray for my family because my sister just gave her life to Jesus and I'm so happy it was the best day of my life. And now my whole family should be in church with us and just please pray that they will be one day. But that's all because they were a compassion child. It was Compassion International that helped that child to find not just release from poverty and from starvation, but to find hope in eternity. I couldn't partner with an organization that didn't lead them to Jesus. Jesus truly changes everything.